of a week of action um, for Occupy New Brunswick. We decided to plan a week of actions to, as a way to bring together students and community organizers. It's a mix of students, residents, um, I know at least one lawyer. We decided to come here because um, it's a pretty major intersection in downtown New Brunswick. There's three banks, there's Bank of America right over there, and then there's Wells Fargo and Chase a little farther up on George Street, so we think it sends a statement. It's interesting that people are now starting to protest because these principles, or at least some of them, are issues that I've been aware of for you know over 10 years, and finally, Americans are starting to wake up. We set up one of our theme days to be um, anti-police brutality, connecting with the anti-police brutality movement in New Brunswick and the anti-police brutality movement inside Occupy Wall Street. I think the way that police are handling it is just absolutely disgusting because you, you go in there and you just beat people who are committed to nonviolence. You shamelessly go in there in the middle of the night, block out the media, and beat people out of the park. I mean, that's wrong. I think it's great that people are still going to Occupy Wall Street even though there is this brutality going on because it shows that we believe in what we're there for. I think something that is kind of sad with this whole Occupy movement is that there's no central idea. There are no real central demands. People are like, okay, well, what is Occupy Wall Street? What is that? Nobody really knows. It's just a bunch of people. They're fed up with stuff, but they don't know what and they're not expressing it. What this is really about is our future and the fact that people feel like their futures have been stolen from them by a small number of incredibly wealthy billionaires. People come here, they say, oh, we want to abolish the Fed. We want to we end wars. We want to tax the rich higher. And it seems like that there's no central demand, but really it all comes back to, to this sort of super capitalist system that we have that relies so heavily on finance to survive. It's just a cycle that keeps getting worse and worse. And people, especially students, need to get involved and need to become aware. I am a student and I am in debt. I'm here because I want to be able to afford an education.